Good morning and uh, welcome here this morning to Morning Prayer. So I'm dressing myself. It seemed a bit too uh, seemed, seemed a bit too chilly this morning to um, uh, to not wear my jumper or to wear a short sleeve shirt. Uh, I hope you're well. I hope this finds you well and good in good hearts and in good spirits. It's great to be with you uh, this morning. Seems like a long time ago since we were to, <laughs> since we were together. Uh, I think it's just that there have been a, a, a few recordings uh, and a few kind of in-person services and other things that have been going on since we've last met together. Uh, yes, hello, Kat. Hello. She's just uh, decided to wake up. Uh, she was very, I took a, actually took a photo of her uh, because she was so, so cute in the way that she looked just a minute ago, all curled up and snoring. Um, weren't you? If she were snoring, um, she doesn't want to be outside today and uh, I can't really blame her. It's a bit, well, the ground is being blessed, I suppose. That's what you might say. Uh, and it's a bit damp and dank. I hope, um, I hope the different services that we've had over the last couple of days have been, uh, have touched you and it, I hope you found them useful. Um, just want to point out uh, one or two things from yesterday until Pentecost, which is a week Sunday. Um, the Church of England are kind of heading up uh, Thy Kingdom Come, a campaign for global prayer. And it's something that we've we've kind of taken part in I suppose or encouraged people to take part in over the last few years here in uh, in Stratton uh, and South Marston and Stanton Fitzwarren in Stratton team ministry uh, and I would encourage you uh, to do so again. Now I've downloaded a couple of apps which are really really handy if you if you go to your uh, app store whether that's on Google or Apple or whatever it might be uh, and you put in thy kingdom come you get two choices you get thy kingdom come uh, i think this is daily prayer so it looks a bit like this it looks a bit different and you can you can get night prayer and morning prayer uh, i'm not quite sure why that's for ascension day should be for today um You can also play it. It's it is a little bit. I have to say, it looks a little bit different to the morning prayer that we have on the other apps. I'm not going to use that one because there are some slight differences. Um, but there's also the Thy Kingdom Come app. I would highly recommend. I would highly recommend uh, that. There are lots of things. I don't know what I've done here. Um, there are lots of things to do on there. Um, there is. Daily praying, a video, Bible reading, um, daily reflection, uh, yeah, daily reflection. You there are something to do with your family. There's a Lectio three six five, which I listened to yesterday evening, which was really good. Yesterday it was Justin Welby. I'm not sure who it is today. It's about ten minute, twelve minute time of reflection, uh, and it's really good. So I would really encourage. You to if you're able to download that, uh, down download the, um, the things there. I think they're, they're fantastic. Um, I will try to use the prayer later. That that uh, I'll try to use the prayer later. It also, also asks you to put five people into it. You name five people. Uh, at, Georgina put on Facebook yesterday about five people that you would like to pray for up until Pentecost uh, in order that they might find Jesus. And uh, it focuses the mind also on, on how we might enable that to happen. But on the app, it gets you to put their names in. It gets you to, it gets you to put an alarm on there as well. So you, your phone or your tablet or wherever it might be will ping and give you a reminder to pray for those people 
at, at the time of your choosing. So um, I've chosen about midday um, and that's when it should ping. So I would highly recommend Thy Kingdom Come, the, the, the app. Uh, if you go to the Church of England website, I'll, I'll put a link onto Facebook uh, a little bit later. We're going to turn to morning prayer now though. Uh, I don't know why it's coming up with Thursday. There we go. Today is the day where we remember Matthias, the apostle, the apostle that was chosen to replace um, Judas. Don't hear a huge amount about him apart from how he was chosen. But I'm sure he was one of those, um, what's the word, unsung heroes, I suppose you might say. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through some of the messages. So let's have a moment of quiet as we recognise God's presence with us now. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 16, Psalm 16. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fail, I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, and all my good depends on you. 
all my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that run many after, they drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I've set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall but rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of, path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self. For you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Okay. Hmm. If you'd like to read the Old Testament reading, um, which is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 27 to 35. 1 Samuel chapter 2, 27 to 35. I'm going to move on to our canticle. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, to comfort all who mourn, to give him a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forth her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord make righteousness and praise blossom before all nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. Alleluia. Now going to uh, have our Old Test, uh, sorry, our New Testament reading from Acts chapter two, verses thirty-seven to forty-seven. Check. Thing. Sorry, it's flipping around with something. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is, of, is for you, for your children, for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those, so those who welcomed his message were baptised, and that day about 3,000 people were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. 
all who believed were together and all had things in and all had and had all things in common they would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had as any had need day by day as they spent much time together in the in the temple they broke bread at home and ate the food with glad and generous hearts praising god and having the good will of all the people and day by day the lord added to their number those who were being saved this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yesterday we heard of the um, ascension. Today we hear of the world or, or of Jerusalem post Pentecost. We hear of the power of the Spirit. So today is the day we remember Matthias, the apostle. He would have been part of that fellowship. Um, but the one plot part he's mentioned in the Bible uh, in the preceding chapter, um, it's not mentioned today, but there we go. We'll be on Sunday. Here is a reflection from um, Jeremy Worthen. Acts 2.42 has been used on numerous occasions as an abiding outline of the life of the church. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. There is, however, a question as to whether it is both the teaching and the fellowship in this sentence that are linked to the apostles or just the teaching. Whatever the merits of different translations, it remains the case that receiving the teachings of the apostles and being in fellowship or communion, same word in Greek, with the apostles cannot be separated. For the teaching with which they were entrusted is the gospel of Christ. And it is, and it is in accepting that gospel that we know communion with others who are in union with him, beginning with the apostles he chose. Did Jesus also choose Matthias? One might infer this from the use of the drawing lots in Acts 1.26. When the disciples gathered after witnesses Jesus' ascension, they did not conclude the calling of the 12 apostles for the temporary phase that might now be set aside for the sake of a more flexible church structure. It was a gift that had become given, a given. Despite the realities of sin and tragedy that mark all human history and the undertakings that unfold within it, the church has a texture that is woven for us and we stitch our new threads within it. Yeah, the people of God, the church, has a texture, texture that is woven for us and each one of us play our part in adding and stitching new threads to it. And that's what we are called to do. Things that we do may be seen straight away. They may be like Matthias, they might go unseen, possibly even through the rest of our lives. And that's okay. The fruit of our labours may not be seen, but we may sow those seeds in other people, maybe those five people that we pray for. We may sow the seeds that someone else sees the fruit. Um, emerge but we are all parts of the church we're all part of the calling to make disciples of nations and to share the good news of jesus christ come holy spirit fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord. 
pouring on us the gifts of your spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love for the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. Alleluia. now come to our time of intercession and this morning I'm going to use the litany I uh, haven't used that for a little while um, there was a time when I used it on, on many uh, many Fridays I'm going to use the litany before I do that we do also have some suggested prayers or set prayers in common worship they go from Ascension right through until Pentecost. So I'm going to use those to start with. And um, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please could you respond with, hear our prayer. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up your hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to continue serve you as a royal priesthood. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Just going to scroll through everything. For each little section here. 
And for each sentence here, could you please respond with, have mercy upon us. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. For these next few sections, please could you respond with, good Lord, deliver us. From all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent. Good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, sloth, not sure how to pronounce it, worldliness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. Good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From famine and disaster, from violence, murder and dying unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death and the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation. Good Lord, deliver us by your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power, and by your preaching of the kingdom. Good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, and by your precious death and burial. Good Lord, deliver us. by your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit. Good Lord, deliver us. For each section now, please could you respond with, hear us, good Lord. Hear our prayers, O Lord, our God. Hear us, good Lord. Govern and direct your holy church. Fill it with love and truth and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, good Lord. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten Viv and Lee, our bishops, and all who minister with knowledge and understanding, that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word, and we lift before you, especially Alvin, this day. Hear us. Good Lord. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Hear us, good Lord. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen and finally beat down Satan under our feet. 
hear us, good Lord. Guide the leaders of the nations into ways of peace, righteousness, healing and justice. Hear us, good Lord. Guard and, guard and strengthen your servant Elizabeth, our Queen, that she may put her trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Hear us, good Lord. And you, the High Court of Parliament, and all the ministers of the Crown, with wisdom and understanding, hear us, good Lord. Bless those who administer the law, that they may uphold justice, honesty and truth. Hear us, good Lord. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all creation. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep all your people. Hear us, good Lord. Bring your joy into all families. Strengthen and deliver those in childbirth. Watch over children and guide the young. Bring reconciliation to those in discord and peace to those in stress. Hear us, good Lord. Our response is now, our Lord have mercy. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved and the oppressed. Lord have mercy. Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in danger. Lord, have mercy. Heal the sick in body and mind. And we lift before you this day, dear Father, all those whom are on our hearts. Those who we pray for and ask for your healing touch. Those who we pray will know and feel your presence in their lives this day. We lift before you Martina's mum as she has her operation and we pray for the skill of the, the surgeons and the doctors and the care of the nurses and all the healthcare professionals that are doing this very um, skilled and tricky piece of work. We pray that it will bring relief. Pray, dear Father, that it will go smoothly. And we pray them up for Martina's mum and for whole family as they scattered around at this time. And we pray that the recovery will be swift and complete. We lift before you all those who are on our hearts, who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. Trudy, Mark, Dennis, Christine, Addy, William, Pauline, Linda, 
Roy, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, Mary, Bex, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Leslie, Wendy, Jim, Joe and the family, Natalie, John, Janet, Carol and Inca, Annette, Tony, John, Liz, Dave and the family, Daniel, Peter and Hazel, Jean, Shane, Joy, Tilly, Jan, Linda and the family, Chris, Oliver, Marcia, Claire and Vanessa, Anna, Angela, Anna, Dean, Mary, Roger, Chris, Martina, Andy, Catherine, Anne, Sarah, E and D, Alistair, and Peg's family. Also left before you, Michael's family, whose funeral it was yesterday. We also, Lord, ask you to provide for the homeless the hungry and the destitute. Lord, have mercy. Show your pity on prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble this day. Lord, have mercy. Forgive our enemies persecutors and slanderers and turn their hearts. Lord, have mercy. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, both those who have confessed the faith and those whose faith is known to you alone. And grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins. And grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. collect for today. Almighty God, who in the place of that of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be, the num, to be of the number of the twelve, preserve your church from false apostles and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. It's a prayer for today on the Thy Kingdom Come program or app. And it's this. Loving God, when I'm feeling lost or lonely or afraid or uncertain of the way ahead, be my guide, a lamp to my feet, and a light for my path. And today help me 
to be a good companion to those I meet. Amen. Being made of, made, excuse me, being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Use whichever version that you wish. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And may the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me today. It uh, continues to be a great privilege um, to do this. Um, I had to switch the light on today because it seems a bit dreary, although it looks a little bit brighter outside now. I'm not sure what the wet rest of the weather today is supposed to be. Um, it's anything like previous days. Good weather for ducks, as they say, but they'll feel blessed, won't they? I hope you stay safe, dry and warm, whatever you do this day. And um, oh, there is a Mother's Union service, Thy Kingdom Come, on Facebook this afternoon at 2 p.m. So this, you can join in a little bit later as well. On the uh, Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals, on their website today, this is the music, Servant Song. Well, to your brother sister let me serve you isn't it may the peace of the lord christ go with you wherever he may send you may he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm may he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you may he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors god bless and keep you and i shall see you soon have a great day <laughs>